Hello. Hello there, everyone. Um, this is Marvel Oblivion 13 here, and I decided just in case that you all may want to know on how to play Sega Dream, I mean, Sega Genesis games on your PC. And so I was like, oh, why not do a tutorial on doing that? So here we go. So you want to go to this website over here, which I will put into the description. I'll copy it right now. There you go. And then you want to go to the world where it says downloads. Right over here. It says you all the way down here. And you want to go to this one if you're a Windows. Go to that one if you're a Mac. And go to this one over here if you are a Linksys person. And these three over here. So then, you want, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you about the emulator. Um, the emulator is known as Fusion, but it was definitely known as Kega Genesis. Or was it, oh, Kega Fusion. Yeah, that was it, Kega Fusion, but it's also known as Fusion. And it looks like this, from this picture over here. Okay, and now you want to extract the em the emulator, which I put right here. I named this folder Sega, so that reminds me that I put it as Sega Genesis. And we're going to go to, I already extracted the file, which I put it right here. Then I extracted it, and this came up. Every emulator, you need to do that. Extract the folder into a file, I mean extract the RR7 zip folder, whatever, into a folder. That way, the folder that looks like this, it'll be saved into your PC, thus you don't need to reconfigure it all over again. In a video codec, in case you want to do some recording. But I normally use Brash or Bandicam for that kind of thing. Oh yeah, I forgot I got fraps on. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this thing off. Yes. There we go. Then after you get done... Oh yeah, I must have forgot. You don't need to do the BIOS here. The BIOS is built in. So you don't even need to worry about setting up the BIOS and stuff. Let me see if I can give you an example. See? Alright, here we go. See? Oh, yeah, see? You don't need a BIOS at all. So then, you want to go over here, and you can see there are several different ones, but you want to do this one over here for Genesis, this one over here for Sega CD images, this one over here for Sega Game Gear, and this one over here for the Sega Master System. So you want to go to this one over here for Genesis games. Okay, and this shows up. And yes, and I will not put the links to games in the description. I would not do that, so please do not tell me that. Alright. And now then let's go ahead and double click on this one. And there you go. And sorry if you, can, if you all cannot hear the sound, but that's just due to that I am using a microphone to record sound. But I'll go ahead and put up my headset so you all can hear it for a bit. There we go. And there you have it. And there you have it. Playing Sega Dreamcast games on the um, on a PC and stuff. Man, I gotta figure out what button was it. And oh yes, I must have forgot one little thing. 
This is Marvel Oblivion 13 signing off, and I will see you all in our next Bronworst. Yeah, come on, get that human. Get that human. Get that human. You all have a nice day now. I think it was. Oh, definitely got to figure out. Oh, which button was it for me to stop recording?